happy weekend people welcome to rhapsody of reality today saturday for in of april 2024 and today's topic is power that works hallelujah before we start this beautiful morning let's say thank you for the week to our most king father king of glory we thank you we honor you thank you for making this week a successful week it has been from glory to glory yeah, oh father we thank you for your help thank you for your word we're about to start our weekend this morning thank you for teaching us your word for in jesus name we pray amen once more welcome to rhapsody of realities today is saturday happy weekend people the topic is power that works at one verse it says but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witness unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth that's at one eight in Act 1 8, the Lord Jesus told his disciples they would receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon them. And that power would make them effective witnesses. The word power in this context means power that works. The Greek rendering is dunamis. It signifies inherent power, power that reproduces itself. <laughs> Mm. It is the root word from which we get the English dynamo. A dynamo is a device that generates elastic electrical power through the conversion of me, me, mechanical energy. Praise the Lord. We have to get it right. So the term dynamo is often used to describe a generator that continuously generates power without requiring external assistant this is the kind of power at work in you today it is a miracle working ability the power makes you an effective witness to your world a witness is one who possesses evidence and proof he is one who is called to testify of what he knows so should you ever feel weak as a witness activate the power within you Paul explained how to do this in Ephesians 5, 18 to 20. It is by getting yourself drunk in the Holy Ghost. Also, in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 4, the Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself. In other words, when you speak in tongues, you activate the power within you and make it effectual. If it had been lying dormant, there is power inside you, inherent power. It is the power that works with you. You can produce anything. <sighs> Praise the Lord, the power that works. Jesus is sweet though. <laughs> Jesus is sweet. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't know about you. It's the best thing. You know, this week I was sharing testimony with my friend. I just decided, you know, so it's not every time I just think of, of, of some certain things because I know that I am back up with Christ. I just feel like praying for myself, like etwise praying for myself. Hallelujah. So in, I was in the bus when the thought came and I prayed for myself, prayed for myself. Hallelujah. So that same night, I had a revelation that a lady lay hands on me and all of a sudden I coughed something out of my body and it was like a fatty substance. And then when I woke up, I just said to my friend, I said, oh, that is the prayer I prayed in the bus. So you have the power, people. Whatever you don't want in your life. I think that particular time, I didn't want something because I was feeling one kind of way. And I just said, oh, let me, okay, let me give myself a dish. So that's when I, you know, activate the power in me. Speaking in tongues is very important. God is good. Hallelujah. We have power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord inside of us. Hallelujah. All you have to do is activate it by speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. Remove anything that you don't want to see in your life. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I thank, I thank you for the inherent power I have received through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Um, always a fire burning with zeal and passion for the work of the lord winning souls everywhere because i am an effective witness fortunately by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name amen for the study you can look at ephesians 3 20 romans 8 verse 11 and at 1 verse 8 when your bible read the plan look for in verse 22 to 35 and judges 14 to 16 
Two Bible reading plan, Romans 10, verse 1 to 10, and Psalm 119, verse 4 to 1 to 64. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. What a great time we had this morning. If today is your first time and you've not given your life to Christ and you're hearing the scriptures, this preaching, please do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe it all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith with messages such like this, and look for a believing church and worship for good. What a great time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel. All your notification bells. So anytime I upload a video like this, you'll be first to be notified. Please share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning. Before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this week. Thank you for your honor. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your power. And thank you for this weekend. All that we needed for this weekend, I know that you have provided. Thank you, Father, for preservation of life. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you next week by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.